Hello everyone, this is David from Automotive Press and I am going to give you yet another update on 2022 Toyota Tundra, the truck that we've all been talking about last uh, few days because of the exciting teaser that we finally got from Toyota. The first and foremost, I want to let you know June 2nd is an important date for all of us who are a big fan of the Tundra because uh, Toyota has invited us for a media reveal and a media preview. Now they have not specifically said it's going to be on the Tundra, but I am 99% sure that we're going to get to see the 2022 Toyota Tundra along with some other products that they're going to reveal on that day. So that could be the new Corolla crossover, which is called the Corolla Cross, or uh, it could be the Lexus NX, uh, plug-in hybrid version perhaps, and, um, or maybe the GR86, I'm not quite sure yet, but they call it product uh, showcase. And so we're going to get to see a number of Toyota products on June 2nd. Now I'm going to be joining this media reveal and media conference uh, virtually because I cannot fly to the US right now from Canada due to travel restrictions, but I know some of my colleagues and friends in the US are actually physically going to the uh, head office in uh, Texas. But either way, all of us are going to be um, patching in at the same time to the exact same media conference and press conference. So we are really excited about this. So uh, the only thing I don't know is whether we will be allowed to uh, show everything that we see that day to you right away on that same day or whether there could be embargo date in which uh, we might have to wait a few days or a week or so before we can show you what we have watched and seen that day. So that's yet to be determined. But nevertheless, at least we have a firm date. June 2nd is when uh, YouTubers, media, and the rest of us who cover this industry will get to see the new Toyota Tundra. <music> So save the date for June 2nd because hopefully we can tell you a lot more about the Tundra along with other Toyota products on that day. But let me come back to the 2022 Tundra. A bit more to share with you because I've got tremendous response so far from my uh, previous uh, few videos and a lot of people are asking many questions. So uh, one of the things that they're asking about is the configurations and the trim and the type of models we're going to get in the Tundra. So I just want to cover that very quickly today to give you uh, an understanding of what we can expect in the new Tundra because my suspicion is that uh, most of the model lineup will remain the same other than that very top of line flagship model that, that we have been seeing through the teaser image. That's the only one we are not 100% sure if what the name will be. I think it's going to be still called the TRD Pro um, but it, some people say it might be called the Trail Hunter. That's the, a name that Toyota has trademarked uh, just back in March of 2021. Now the reason why I don't think it's going to be called the Trail Hunter, even though it's a cool name, is because that name was trademarked in the U.S. just again in March of this year. So there's no way Toyota would uh, trademark a name so soon for a model that's coming out this fall because they will have to do some marketing and planning and create the brochure, create all of the engineering parts such as the emblem and so forth. So I can't imagine Toyota trademarking a name in the spring for a product that's coming out in the fall. So I think the name Trail Hunter will be for a new product uh, sometime down the road. Maybe it's a, a true Ford Bronco competitor or Jeep competitor and that name could apply to something like the essentially the next generation FJ Cruiser. But anyway, so that's a little bit down the road. Anyway, back to the Tundra story. So what do we have? Well, we have currently in the 2021 lineup SR, SR5, uh, Limited, TRD Pro, Platinum and 1794. So I'm not sure about the 1794, but I think all of the other models will carry over in terms of the name. So let me just quickly walk you through the model lineup. So we have uh, in the Toyota terminology, we have a double cab and a crew cab. I'm going to use this Hummer truck for now as a, as a way to explain that to you. Sorry, but I don't have a Tundra model right now. And so in the Toyota terminology, double cab it's still a four door. It's still, you still get to open all four doors, but the rear door is like a half a door. It's uh, truncated 
and you don't get the full um, space in the back. It's still pretty usable because Tundra is so big to begin with, but it's clearly not a, a meant to be uh, a regular use in the back seat. So uh, double cab, it's a full size front door and sort of a half a door in the back and it's got a slightly truncated uh, overall cabin space. But usually because of the truncated cabin space, you get a longer bed up to an eight foot bed. So that's the double cab. And then uh, the more popular configuration is the crew cab, which is a full size four door. So all four doors will be full size. And uh, um, as you already know, in Tundra, uh, you get immense amount of space inside. But you cannot get the eight foot bed right now with the crew cab with full size four doors, uh, but uh, we are not quite sure if that's gonna change for 2022, I don't think so. So with a crew cab, you can only pair that with a short bed, which is five and a half foot size. So that's, uh, that's the configuration for crew cab. Four doors are all full size, but the beds are a little bit shorter and it's five and a half foot. Compared to a double cab, which is uh, the rear doors are half the size, but you can have a, a six and a half foot bed, slightly longer one, or even a 8.1 foot bed, so much longer bed. So that's the configuration. So the current SR only comes in double cab, which is a truncated rear door, but you can get it in a six and a half foot or the 8.1 foot bed. So you can get it in the longer bed. It's designed primarily for commercial use, that's the SR. So we will still get that in 2022. And then there is an SR5, which is perhaps the most popular version of the Tundra. And that is also available as a double cab with the truncated door or the crew cab with the uh, full size doors. And of course, again, in the SR5 a double cab, you can have a six and a half foot bed or 8.1 foot bed. Uh, and in the crew cab, you can only get the short bed, which is five and a half foot. Now, what's interesting with the uh, SR5 is that because it's the most important uh, model lineup, you can add all kinds of different options and configurations on top of that basic system. So you can have the TRD off-road package, uh, or you can have the Trail Special Edition model, which is only for a short time. That's a special model just for this year. So we're not gonna get that next year for sure. And then there's also a TRD Sport. The TRD Sport has a, um, a slightly different suspension from the off-road. The off-road has a much softer sprung suspension uh, so that it's better for off-roading, obviously. And the Sport has a slightly more road-friendly, highway-friendly suspension for normal highway use and city use. So they have a slightly different purpose, a slightly different design in the front. And uh, so the SR5 should continue to come in those different versions. Now moving on to the next model, which is Limited, which is also pretty popular. The price does jump up quite a bit. Right now, the Limited is available in double cab and crew, ma crew max and double cab with a 6.5 bed and the crew max with a, a five and a half foot bed. But also the Limited is available in nightshade mode. Nightshade is kind of darkened uh, trims and darkened uh, design all the way around to give you that kind of cool, cool look. And, but nightshade model usually comes toward, uh, toward the mid-level or toward the end of the life cycle. So I don't think they will offer the nightshade right away in 2022, this fall, but we will obviously get the regular limited model in both uh, double cab and crew max um, configurations. Now, by the way, all these configurations I'm talking about are for the US market. The Canadian market have a complete different versions and the names are the same, but instead of add-on packages like a TRD Off-Road or TRD Sport, in Canada, they are a separate model. So we have a TRD Off-Road model, TRD Sport model, but they're not tacked onto as a separate package for SR5. But let me just go through the US uh, configuration first, and then if you guys are interested in, uh, for me to go through the Canadian version, I can also go through that later on. Okay, so that's for the Limited. And then above Limited, we have the Platinum. And then above the Platinum, we have 1794. But the 1794 edition is basically identical to Platinum with some different uh, interior changes, interior design. But uh, I don't think 1794 will carry over to 2022. So the Platinum is the flagship in terms of luxury features. You have all of the features. It's only available in Crew Max and not in double cab format. Uh, so it comes in crew max with a short five and a half foot bed and so that should also carry forward into the new tundra 2022 tundra um, now the uh, trd pro is the last model i was going to talk about 
And I still think that the teaser photo and image we have been seeing from Toyota with the wide stance, you know, with the 80 inches width, with the uh, Raptor style uh, lights in the front and marker lights in, on the side, I believe that is still going to be called TRD Pro. That's my belief. Um, but could it be called Trail Hunter? I don't think so, but it's possible. And could it be uh, given some other name? That's also possible. So who knows what the actual name will be, but the most off-road capable Tundra uh, will be wide and big and super heavy duty. And I think that will be called a TRD Pro. Uh, if that's the case, the TRD Pro uh, does come currently in double cab. Again, the shorter truncated rear door version uh, with a slightly longer bed, as well as the Crew Max, which is a four door, full size doors with a shorter bed. So I do believe that the TRD Pro, if it's available right away this year, uh, will offer both versions. But it's funny, right? Sometime in uh, some of the years, Toyota did not offer the double cab version. So they might change again. Who knows about that? But uh, anyway, so I'm sorry I'm using a Hummer as a model. But that's all of the lineup. And I uh, just want to give you a, a quick breakdown on that. In terms of pricing, as I mentioned, I believe will be about 5 to 6% more than the current model. That huge version, the wide version of the TRD Pro, whatever it's going to be called, I think will be priced a lot more because we expect uh, potentially a hybrid engine in that one. But otherwise, the base price for SR should stay about $38,000 US. A uh, base price for SR5 should be about $40,000. It's currently $39,000 roughly, give or take. And then the limited starts at $46,000 US now. So give or take, again, $47,000 to $48,000 should be the pricing for limited. And then the platinum jumps to $52,000 US. So expect that to be about $54,000, $55,000 potentially. And the TRD Pro is actually a little bit cheaper than platinum at $49,000. So if it's a regular TRD Pro, I believe you'll stay around that price range. Again, $51,000 range. But if the, the wide version, the big version, who knows, it might cost fifty five dollars to $60,000 range, uh, especially in the hybrid format. And also uh, the hybrid should come out no later than uh, spring of next year. And it could be an add-on option to all of the regular configuration I just went through, or it could be a separate model that we don't know yet. Uh, but regardless, if you compare Apple to Apple, the hybrid version will co usually cost about $1,000 to $2,000 more than the non-hybrid version. So that's the kind of price expectation. Mark your calendar for June 2nd. And as we uh, slowly move toward that date, hopefully more information will come out and I can share with you more things about the 2022 Toyota Tundra. Thank you for watching. I'm signing off for now. We'll catch you later.